Hey, it's Raj from 3CB. Arsenal's Sterling goalkeeper Vern Leno went down with an apparent right knee injury after being contacted in mid-air by Brighton striker Neil Mape while gathering the ball and landing awkwardly. The injury looked severe, with rumors swirling that Leno may miss up to a year. However, Arsenal have updated Leno's injury with essentially a best-case scenario diagnosis. In this video, I'll explain this best-case scenario, much needed for an Arsenal team in transition, and if the injury will impact Leno in the long term. When Leno landed, his knee went into external, outward rotation, and hyperextension, backwards. On video, you could see Leno's knee joint quickly shift out of position and then back in, followed by Leno's audible screams of anguish. Never good signs. Initial fears were that Leno had suffered a serious knee ligament injury. Personally, based on the MOI, I was very fearful of a multi-ligament rupture, grade 3 complete tear, that takes up to a year to return from. However, after Leno's knee swelling decreased and multiple detailed assessments took place, it was determined that Leno only had a quote moderate ligament sprain, which typically medically translates as a grade 2 moderate ligament tear, with aim to return to full training in 4-6 to six weeks. We'll likely never know the ligament specifics, but based on the MOI and timeline, my educated guess is that Leno has a grade 2 tear of the lateral collateral ligament, LCL. And very likely some associated damage to the nearby posterior lateral corner, PLC, because isolated LCL injuries are extremely rare, accounting for less than 2% of all knee injuries. In addition to the significantly shorter return timeline, the other major positive is that Leno likely won't face many physical or mental residual deficits and should return to his pre-injury performance levels quite quickly. Additionally, Leno's level of strength and neuromuscular training is likely a key reason why he didn't suffer a more severe injury, and that commitment always bodes well for recovery and return to 100%. Lastly, the German's prognosis is further boosted by his keeper position, which doesn't have the same running and fitness demands as a positional player. I fully expect him back in dominant form for the start of the 2020-21 Premier League season. That's a wrap for this video, thanks for watching. My goal is to provide you with in-depth, evidence-based, narrative-free analysis. You can always find me on IG and Twitter, at 3CB Performance. Take care of yourselves and follow the appropriate precautions to limit your exposure to and spread of COVID-19. Make sure to sub to the channel and follow along on all social media for latest updates. 3CB out.